everybody welcome to another episode of movers and shakers of paul uh today i've got marcelo ross with me um the reason why marcelo is here marcelo came uh from an exciting trip in japan and i wanted to find out a little bit more about his achievement uh, marcelo is also a practicing attorney he can tell us a bit about that as well so he's an attorney and he does karate um yeah so marcelo thanks for chatting to me Hi Miles, thank you for this opportunity. Cool man. Yeah, um, yeah like I said in the previous uh, interview, um, uh, my, my the start is a bit boring, so they said I have to spice it up with some thirty seconds. It's important <laughs> to spice <laughs> to spice of life. Um, yeah, and this is the this is the kiddies version. So the last one I won. So okay, um, let's hope I lose because it's not always nice winning. So what happens is uh, you can go first. You can take okay. the card. Okay. Uh, take one card, and then you must explain to me, and then we'll use thirty seconds just to start. Okay. It looks like you're the pro you're already looking at me like you're the professional. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's go. Okay. What do you use to brush your teeth? The paste that you put. Uh, toothpaste. Yes. Uh, not east. West. Um, windows is a what? Operating system. No, um, okay, let's keep that. Okay. Uh, a beetle, uh, a spider. What? What? What is that called? Yes. Um, what do you do when you when you press on your steering wheel? Hoot. Uh, but uh, one. Hoot. Uh, shorter than. Who? <laughs> Beep. I think my time is up. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Let that me was see. a honk. Uh, oh, you said paste, paste, yeah, paste sorry. oh, program, yeah, and honk. Okay, wow, jeez yeah. Louise. Okay, I'm gonna take what you get that it around. I didn't get the easiest card. How much was that? How much did I? I let's think see. Two. Okay, two. Wow. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Um, oh my gosh, you wear it in summer on your feet? Sandals. Good. Uh, the place where Nelson Mandela was locked up. Huh? Robin Island. When you make a, a food dish, you read a. Eh? Recipe. Yeah. Uh, my room is neat and tidy. And then the smallest coin we get is a uh, penny. No. Uh, a rand. Cent. And the next one. Uh, uh, After that one, <laughs> uh, it's the ten. What ten divided by two? Five cents. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're a lot better at explaining <laughs> than I am. <laughs> anyway, okay. That was, uh, uh, how much is that? Five, two? Yeah, we're uh, there again. Yeah. I'll stop studying again. these cards. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, uh, Marcelo, tell me a bit about Japan. Why did you go? How was the trip? Okay, um, we sent a team of 12 mm. to Japan to represent our country, but specifically within our style. Mm. So we do Inuya Shitori Karate. Okay. That sounds like a long, difficult sounds like name. sushi. <laughs> it does. We <laughs> ate a lot of sushi when we were in Japan. Um, but you get four major styles. You yeah. get Koju Ryu, you yeah. get Shito Ryu, you get a lesson on one called Wadu Ryu, and you get Shotokan. Okay. Now our style forms part of Shito Ryu. Okay. Which is a combination of two styles. So you'll see we perform techniques with speed and we perform them with we have slow techniques as well more graceful slow techniques okay okay so so that's the style that we do and we've um selected this team to go and represent our country okay um this it's 12 from paul all right just 12 from paul nice. and one guy from durban okay and at this tournament in japan this was our world championships so we had 20 countries participating right from all over the world obviously okay. japan we have european countries south american countries yeah. so all of us um competed against each other in our respective divisions right. and age groups um in totori in japan this cool. is in the north of japan small small town in japan and um, I, I think, well, I believe we did quite well, okay. even though we didn't bring out many medals. Yeah. Um, because the standard of karate in Japan is just exceptionally yeah. high. We okay. all know that. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where what you see in the movies, yeah. it's, it's true in, yeah. in the case yeah. of karate in Japan. Okay. And then two of us went for our grading. The yeah. one is um, 
Adil Hammond. He's okay. from Wellington. He successfully passed his grading. He's now black belt. Okay. He went from brown belt to black belt. Okay. And then I went for my fourth Dan grading, okay. uh, which I passed. So okay. I'm, a, I'm a fourth Dan now. So I went from third Dan to fourth yeah. Dan. Okay, just explain to me what is, okay, what is, so you get belts and you get Dan's. Yes, like. you, you go from white yeah. to brown yeah. and then you get black. Right, okay. Now you get junior black and then you get a full black belt, which is called uh, Shodan Ho. Okay. Shodan Ho. Now after that, you get your first Dan, second okay. Dan, wow, third okay. Dan, fourth Dan. So it's, it's sort of like your fourth black belt. If wow, I can okay, well that that's way. been a major achievement. If it's fourth and you only yes no no it, it it is a major achievement but i like i said um i feel like it's only the start mm. sort of again for me so yeah. so it's it's not the end okay it's, it's only the beginning yeah. yeah so what does it mean in karate if you have a fourth stand can you become the instructor now how does well uh, um you can be an assistant instructor called the senpai okay in japanese um, from I would say from brown belt, preferably black belt, but from brown belt upwards you can be an assistant instructor. Okay. Um, so it the the fourth then is I, I would I would say it's an equivalent of maybe having a doctorate I would wow, say kind nice. of around that level. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. But it it's <coughs> also a culmination of a lot of years of practice. So yeah. It's normally. It's normally people who've been practicing karate for maybe between 10 and 20 years. Wow. Okay. So, so that's also the other requirement, yeah. I would say. So at what age did you start? I started when I was six years old. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And continuous until now. Yeah. Wow. So I've been so in karate for 22 years. Wow. Now. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, Japan, uh, can we, can you speak a bit? Yes, uh, about Japan, the place. No, the language. Oh, the language. No, 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 I can't not speak even a lot of Japanese. Not even welcome to Paul. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> I don't want to offend the Japanese, <laughs> so no. I'd rather not. Okay. Uh, we stick to counting in Japanese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so could tell me Marcelo Ross Primary School? I went to Padelzeg Primary. Okay, cool. And yes. uh, high school? High school, I went to two high schools, actually. I went to Klein Yedeberg. All right. Uh, senior secondary. Yeah. Uh, I went uh, to to car in for three years from grade eight till grade uh, grade ten. Yeah. And then I went to Paul Boys I okay. grade eleven and grade twelve. Okay, cool. Um, mm. Highlights of the school, what uh, Mr. Paul, Mr. Boys I, <laughs> or Mr. NP, um, <laughs> or uh, what you call it, a uh, Yeah, I was head boy in in primary school. Okay. Um, I was also on the student representative council mm. of uh, car in mm. and then when i went to boys i um i was a prefect as okay, well nice yeah um so you get home after matric and what's mm. in marcelo's seat what what are we doing after matric well i always um <coughs> i don't think there was something else other than law wow, for me okay um Probably because of my dad, but yeah. yeah. Um, so I started studying law. I did my LLB, mm. and I, uh, in fact, when I was still studying, I started working already. Okay. And I then, when I started working at at Van Spain Partners in Paul, I did my um, advanced diploma mm. in uh, in corporate and securities law. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, and then that was sort of the path mm. that I that I went into. Mm. Mm. Um, so you are you article there and you practicing there? Yes. Because so how long yes. are you there now? I've been there for this next year will be my fifth year that okay. I'm there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And which university did you uh, study? I studied through UNISA. Okay. So yes. why didn't you go to you know because you started working? Or what? Yes, it's sort of a, a because of karate and because of of work that I that I sort of had to. Mm. Um, study the unis in order to be able to juggle everything. Mm. Okay. Um, I also worked at Drakenstein Municipality okay, for cool. a period right. of time as well, and I had some other jobs as well. So yeah, I I sort of that suited me more yeah. than the conventional yeah. um, than the conventional system. Okay, so. Mm. How was your articles? Your first two years, did you get paid two thousand rand a month? And well, not two thousand, <laughs> <laughs> not two thousand, but yeah. I, I, I was paid. I think, 
Um, our firm pays mm. um, quite well okay. uh, uh, for for Paul, but you yeah. don't you don't get paid a lot of money. No, of course. And you get you have to do a lot of work. You have to do a lot of grant work. Mm. Um, mm. But I think uh, the the whole experience kind of. Uh, especially afterwards obviously you kind of realize why you did certain things or why you had to do certain yeah. things um, because um, in the long run you'll you'll re realize why you had to yeah. do all those things yeah. but yeah it's not not a lot of money yeah <laughs> yeah of course so yes. what do you think um, your biggest lesson was in juggling work and studying and karate mm -hmm. what is what is the thing that because how many people would they yeah. have full-time university and they scope up. Yes. Yeah, you have work, you've got study, and you've got mm. your passion, karate. I mm. mean, what's that one thing you think pulled you through? <coughs> I think the most important thing is, is time management. Mm. And I think sticking to those allocated times, you need to have time for, you need to allocate the time for, um, let's say, your sport mm. or gym or whatever mm. you do, and you need to allocate the time for, for studies, mm. you need to allocate time for everything. Mm. Um, so I think that's the, the most important part, but not just having that particular plan in place, but also sticking to that mm. plan mm. and being consistent yeah. on a, let's say, daily basis or but on a weekly basis, being yeah. consistent and yeah. sticking to that plan. Mm. Because that's the only way you'll be able mm. to juggle all of these things at the same time. Okay. So I think that's been, for me, um, the, the thing that's that's that's... Uh, made it possible that I can do all those things at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what's the goals? What's the what's the five year plan? What I mean, mm. so you're busy working as a practicing attorney. What mm. what's the five year plan? Is there a five year plan? Well, I, and and this is why I sort of decided to 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 do my master specifically in commercial laws because I I want to be a leader in my field. Mm. Like I specialize um or my interest is corporate governance okay nice. and, and at this point in time it's one of the biggest mm. uh um issues yeah one of the big talking points is for example steinoff yeah. marcus us yeah. and yeah. so on okay so so for me that's that's one of the, the the primary areas that i'm focusing on so i want to be uh the best mm. in what I do, mm. in what I specialize in. So mm. that's that's what I'm working towards in the okay. next five years. Okay. Um, karate wise, I think, um, yeah, I I'll just keep on training the way that I've been training okay. since um, yeah. I was a small boy. <laughs> <laughs> since I was a small boy, but but obviously we want to. What our goal is, our overarching goal in our, in our dojo, in our club, is to obtain medals at international level yeah because south africa in karate they're not doing that okay so so that is what we want to do um so we we using the things that we've learned in japan bringing them mm. back and then starting to drill those yeah. things into our young students so yeah. we want our young students um they are the future of the dojo so they we want them to ultimately win those medals yeah. for our country at international level okay. so that's what we want to do what are the other passions except karate um i i enjoy i enjoy reading right. i enjoy gym um okay. what book is what did you say is your one number one book now what type of books is it is it like uh romancing moles and boons or no 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 i don't i don't like those kinds yeah. of books i i i like uh stuff like uh long book to freedom all right cool uh, currently i'm reading the book on 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 steinoff okay cool um yeah. and then i also recently read the book of um the the advocate from the eff okay um yeah. uh, the land is ours yeah, yeah nice i was i was reading that book okay. uh, recently so yeah no i enjoy those kinds of books yeah, yeah. Um, okay yeah. um so what keeps you going i mean what say for example you have this day and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed what's mm. What keeps you going? I think um, what I normally do is, is, is for me because karate training is sort of mm. become my life. Mm. If I have a bad day at work, I know I'm going to go to karate and forget all mm. about mm. what issues my mm. clients mm. have and what problems I have at work. So mm. that's always been the go-to thing mm. um, for me. And because I've been training for so long, that's always been... And people always ask me, why am I so... 
yeah. relaxed yeah. and composed. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I have to say it's because of that. Okay. Um, okay. So if you take away that, I don't know what type of person <laughs> I would be. <laughs> Maybe I'll be violent. I don't know. I really don't know. If you if you had a billboard up on the N1 and you had a quote there with your name mm. at the bottom, no, don't mm. worry about the picture, just mm. your name. And that's the message you want the world to see you while you're on earth. What would that message be? Uh, my message would be quite simple. Never give up. Okay, perfect. Right. Never give up. Okay. I've That's been my philosophy all my life in everything mm. I've done. Because I've always sort of done things that seem almost uh, very difficult, mm. or almost impossible to do. Mm. Um, but that's always been my philosophy is mm. that I will never, ever, ever give up. Um, so what do you do in your spare time except practice law and do karate? Well, the little spare time that there is, I, I spend time with my friends mm. and um, yeah, we, we I like to to do a, 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 to try new things. Mm. Mm. So so we would we would not like in adventurous stuff, yeah. just like um, see different places. Right. I like traveling. Okay, uh, cool. I like that part of karate also. Mm. Mm. Takes me to country, so I I try and stay a little bit longer, maybe mm. a week. Like mm. that's what I did last year when yeah. I went to uh, Slovakia. Okay, I stayed um, in the neighboring Austria. Yeah, I I, I, <coughs> I took nice. a took a, a train to Austria and I stayed there for um, an additional week. Okay, nice. Just to travel yeah. and see see the place and enjoy the mm. culture, mm. the food, etc. So mm. so I like I like traveling okay. and I try to go to a different place every year. Okay. So mm. what are we single? Are we married? Are we engaged? No, unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> single. <laughs> single. Okay. All yeah. right, cool. What what motivates you? Like what what makes you get up in the morning? Is there like a, want to change the world, want to make the world a better place? You know, to be honest, yes and no. Like on the one side, I like the idea in practicing law, the idea that you have to, especially where I'm working in Paul, mm. which is a very conservative, mm. um, small place, mm. that I have to build my own practice from mm. scratch. Mm. and that I have to get clients and mm. that I have to make money mm. but at the same time I also want to make a change in mm. society for example I'm involved in a lot of um, conveyancing transactions where the municipality is transferring properties to beneficiaries mm. people that earn 3,500 nice. or less or nothing nice um, and, and that's been a fantastic experience because that's when you really see that um, this this constitutional ideal of giving people housing, their right to housing, is actually being fulfilled by the municipality and okay, of course nice. the provincial government. So we've been involved in stuff like Fairyland, where 130 properties were transferred to people. We're now busy with Gouda, for example, and another, another 130 uh, properties that have to be transferred. Okay. So so that's one of the the things that that that. I'm excited about and that I enjoy doing because I know the influence that mm. it has and the impact mm. that it has on, on these people. Mm. And then the other thing we did recently was we did about, I think it was about 300 or more wills for people for for, for, for a farm in Wellington um, called uh, Lelyfontein which forms part of the Bo uh, Bosman Vineyards. Mm. Um, because they they big on empowerment mm. um, in in that side of the world, mm. so we've we've done that initiative and we've done it for free. Nice. Um, okay. So so those are some some of the things um, that I've been involved in that I think really mm. um, can change so society. But I mean, there's still a lot that has no, to be 100%. done. Uh, what's your view on land expropriation? If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I mean, what what's your view? That's a very interesting question and interesting in, in, in light of the fact that tomorrow I'm actually attending Is it? Uh, a seminar being uh, conducted by the um, Chief Justice of the Constitutional nice, Court. Okay. He's going to give his take on land expropriation, right. so it's going to be interesting okay. to hear what he has to say. Okay. But I think that it's, a, it's obviously a, a difficult concept and a difficult thing in today's society mm. and I'm I would say I'm a bit conflicted. Mm. I've always felt that you should mm. compensate landowners mm. um, 
but of course I'm sort of on the other side mm. here because I'm yeah. representing yeah. people yeah, that, no, that are affected by it. But yeah. I think it, it depends on each case, mm. but the the, 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 the speed and the extent of, of, of mm. the, the land restoration has been shockingly slow. Mm. And mm. and that's the and that's also yeah. why these extreme measures yeah. maybe needs to be implemented. Yeah. yeah. But there's no simple solution for this mm. problem. It's mm. it's it's not a problem just in South Africa, but everywhere in the world uh, where this kind of thing has happened. Mm. So yeah, it's a very difficult question. Maybe mm. I'll be uh, be tomorrow. able to answer it <laughs> after tomorrow. <laughs> um okay, so that means Last weekend you had inter schools and this weekend you have inter schools because your boys are in Kai. And yes, okay, so exactly. You That's the big advantage. <laughs> are you attending both or what? <laughs> um, I I hope so. I hope I'll attend this one this okay. weekend. Okay. All right. Um, cool. I I wasn't at the stadium actually last weekend, but yeah. I was close by yeah, watching yeah. the game. Okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, no, I'll definitely watch the game. And support <laughs> my my second alma mater. <laughs> um, yeah, but Marcelo, I mean. Uh, thanks so much for chatting to me. Uh, you've got the uh, this karate thing is quite exciting. Mm. I mean, like you're saying, it's like a doctorate. Mm. Dan, fourth, fourth Dan. I want to add the other words. <laughs> um, yeah, and you also it's it, mm. it's like you really got that perfect balance going. It's like you've got that you've got the stressful environment, and then you've got the karate where it's mm. the usa type environment. It's probably that's what mm. keeps you sane. Mm. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for your time, dude. Uh, I really uh, appreciate chatting to you. Thanks. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> cool, <man. laughs>